Hey guys, how you doing? Paul Ferres here. I'm gonna edit a photo today and I figured why not bring you guys along. I'll be using Lightroom and Photoshop. This is a shot I took in uh, Volano Beach, Florida, pretty close to my house, about a half hour away. I got a shot of the jetty and a long exposure, so let's jump into uh, Lightroom and get going. All right. All right guys, here we are in uh, Lightroom and I uh, just have some basic adjustments here. Uh, just run through them real quick. Uh, I have uh, bumped the contrast a tiny bit. I brought the highlights down. Uh, I got the shadows boosted. I got the whites down and the blacks boosted. And the uh, goal here was just try to get as flat of an image as possible. And I will take it over into Photoshop. All right, so we're gonna go down here to the photo, right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, here we are. Let me pull this out of here so I can work with it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is add an adjustment layer. Just do a nice curves so I can darken it up a bit. Not too much, but just enough. Get a little bit more mood in there. Okay. I'm gonna make a new layer here and I'm gonna call it lights. This is for uh, dodging and burning. Uh, change the blend mode to soft light. Then I'm just gonna duplicate that and call it dark. So I have each one on its own layer. All right, so let's do some white. So I'm gonna grab the brush tool with a B. I'm gonna hit X to get to white because I was on black. Take the opacity down to about 6%. All right, so let's zoom in and do some dodging and burning. Uh, I'll speed up through this so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but here we go. So I did a little light dodging and burning. Uh, just gonna save time just so this video doesn't run too long. So I'm just gonna grab everything and do my version of the Orton effect. So you'll select the top, hold shift, select the bottom. That's gonna select everything. Then command, alt, shift, E. Okay, so we have our merged layer here. I'm gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna have the radius at 24 megapixels. And I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so there's our blurred layer. I'm gonna go to soft light blend mode for that. And then I'm gonna bring it down some. But I am liking it kind of heavy to be honest. So I may mask this in. So I'm gonna leave it there at 68% and then I'm gonna add a mask. <clears throat> And then I'm gonna grab the brush tool again and X to get black. And wherever we uh, paint black, we will hide this uh, blur effect. So I'm gonna turn this opacity up to about 25%. And uh, I'm gonna take it out of some of these rocks and leave it more in the uh, sky. So you can see right there, it's kind of pulling out some of that blur and contrast and bring a little more texture back into these rocks. So you can see that detail. All right, so that looks pretty decent. Let's see before, after, punch it in there. There we go. Yeah, not bad. It's a little dark, but I'm liking it like that. So I'm just gonna save this and take it back over into Lightroom. All right, there we are. So we can do some last minute tweaks here. I might boost up the shadows down here, but I might do it with a graduated filter. So there, push some of these shadows up just a little bit. It's looking a little dark. There we go. Might use another one of these on the sky. See if, it, if I need to. Might darken it down a little up top. Just a little more mood. Yeah, that's way too much. Somewhere right around there looks pretty good. Not too bad. Let's see if I need to uh, sharpen this at all. I could have done some selective sharpening in Photoshop. Yeah, it needs a little sharpening. 
Let's see, uh, but I'll just use a mask here. You can use the uh, sharpen mask in Lightroom. If you just hold Alt, you'll be able to see what is being sharpened. So I don't have to uh, sharpen the sky or anything like that. So that looks good right about there. And then uh, go a little heavy there, maybe to about 70, 72. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Uh, came out, went a little darker than I thought I was, but yeah, it came out pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I think the shot came out pretty decent, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.